Have you heard about the BRCA test? It's the genetic test for cancer, but not a lot of people know about it. We have a family history, so two years ago, we knew that the smart thing was to get tested. I tested negative. I tested positive for BRCA1. Obviously, it's not the result I had hoped for, but I took it pretty well. What does testing positive for BRCA1 mean? It means that GRA has a much higher chance of developing breast and ovarian cancer. We're talking almost 90% lifetime risk of developing breast cancer and up to 44% chance of developing ovarian cancer. That's compared to just 13% in the general population. When I got the results, my doctor advised me to do a double mastectomy and also to remove my ovaries. I'm not ready to take that step, but I'm still grateful that I took the test. Why is that gra? Because now I have the information and with that information, I can be extra cautious. That means in my case, doing an MRI, an ultrasound or a mammogram every three or six months. The best way to catch breast cancer early. And obviously it's a very personal decision. With the test, the key is understanding what you're signing up for. Can you manage the emotional weight of getting a positive result like I did? Exactly. This isn't about fear, this is about empowerment. So if you have the chance to take this test and you feel you can handle the results, whatever they might be, I want to encourage you to take it. Because prevention is in our hands and we need to take advantage of the medical and the technological advances that will help us protect our health before it's too late. I would rather know and be able to act on it rather than just wonder and not know. Talk to your doctor about what is right for you and know your family history. Knowledge, Knowledge is power. Let us know in the comments below if you've heard about this test before.